Okay, guys, we got goals, right? We got goals. <laughs> goals. Let me show you what I'm showing you. You know what's cool even today? For all you Zelda Tears of Kingdom fans, look, it has Zelda Tears of Kingdom on there. But that's not the main emphasis of my video today, right? By the way, if you can, pick these up. These are pretty cool. You do win some points. But, uh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we always got to throw out trash as humans, right? I thought I'd show you this. Ate, ate all that ice cream. Ate all this. And look at me. I'm skinny. You know? I'm skinny. Skinny and good and healthy shape. Getting my stuff together. Should have really drank that Capri Sun, but you know, people like it when I drink stuff like Capri Sun. They like it when I eat cheese, right? They like it, um, what's this? Uh, they probably don't like me eating that stuff. <laughs> they like me eating this, though, because this isn't even healthy ice cream. This is just like that, you know, typical knockoff ice cream. Like, let me see what chemicals we got in here, too. We got to make sure. I even put hot sauce in here because this is who we're going to be talking about, Mr. Nick Avocado, right? Hot sauce. Did I – I think – I don't – I think because I bought the cheaper hot sauce, hopefully I can get us an ingredient. Yeah, See, it doesn't taste as good as, um, what's that one called? Red Hot, whatever. I, f I forget what they call that crap. Red Hot something. Um, <laughs> Eli Manning's hot sauce, you know. Oh, it was good to see, by the way, Wyatt lose in Madden. Like, he'll pay attention to this video. He lost in Madden while I won in Splatoon. Yeah, that's the guy that you guys watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy you guys watch. Yeah, that's all you watch. You watch losers. Anyway. Huh. Okay. Where is this? Play a real game like Splatoon, you noobs. Um, body armor. Oh my gosh. I forget even the body. Well, I think there is an angle that we got with the body armor just cause we gotta, we gotta crap on Nick avocado's garden. You know, we gotta crap on the garden and run away. Oh my gosh. Look at that fuzz. I'll just read it myself for you. Citric acid. That's not too healthy. Natural flavors. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Phosphate. <laughs> dude i'm just tripping out though right now because like i'm in good shape i'm weightlifting running and all that you know i can eat whatever the heck i want so i'm gonna be your guys's new nick avocado or whatever i am i'm gonna <laughs> I, you guys you guys gotta know i know who nick avocado i've seen him before uh i saw him a long time ago before he even did any of his things um the, uh, ugh, why, why do I want to call him out particularly right now? Why right now? Okay. Because you wouldn't believe what the experience was meeting a guy like him. It was hilarious. He was driving in a car. Oh my gosh, dude. The experience of meeting Nick Avocado was hilarious, guys. Hilarious. Um, the inconsistent... I have a car. I purchased a car, so I should be noticed kind of thing, you know? And that's who Nick Avocado is, though, guys. You know, that's who he is. He likes to be, like, the theater guy. Um. <laughs> Dude, I could call out almost every mukbanger on this, too. Let me tell you. I can kind of call them all out. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I haven't heard one mukbanger. I won't say her name, but uh, she was talking about, well, you don't have a kid. And I'm like, oh, oh, no, I don't have a child. Oh, no. I have no child. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you kind of buried yourself. <laughs> you buried yourself with somebody who's been trying to have a child, you know. Yeah, kind of buried your own grave. Um, I got nerves to steal. Mention her name, Stephanie Papas. <laughs> I got grit, dude. I don't care. I don't care about. It. 
And from what I've heard, she works at certain areas. So the life is pretty funny, guys. Um, she bought Chipotle also. She was probably ticked off because she bought Chipotle. She wanted to be at the gym or something, you know. Um, so how can we even call him out, right? How can we call this guy out? Well, it's simple. He always talks about nutrition, okay? But he's not an adequate form of nutrition, you know? And this even right here makes me laugh because not only do you get all the content of me talking about Nick Avocado, look, I chose mint ice cream. Do you guys know what I'm saying? I chose mint ice cream. Get ready, Splatoon gamers. Get ready for me to whoop you again. <laughs> I don't I don't even care what like the results are. I already know I'm going to be doing good. I'm most likely going to win this Splatfest. <clears throat> I just got to correct some issues. Um, there's a, uh, where the heck is this thing? Um, content is always crazy. You would be surprised how many people I could call out people with just a bunch of junk food. <sighs> I want to call out the Zelda Tears of Kingdom fans, okay? I want to call them out. Did you know that there's some female that streamed got 25,000 views off of her Zelda Tears of Kingdom nonsense? And I'm like, oh my gosh, wow, that's just fantastic, fantastic, you know. Um, it's like, it's like, dude, I, I need to find a female. That's all I need to do. I need to find a female for my video, guys, and then I'll talk, and then she'll be there in the video so you get, like, good eye candy and all that. But I know you guys like seeing me eat junk food, though. I'm trying to... Let me try and get this right, because I know, isn't that the crazy part? Skinny, ripped, and eating some junk food. There's even some crap in here I shouldn't be eating. What is this crap? Uh, BHT, definitely. Where is it? Um, corn syrup, yeah. Screw corn syrup. Um... Yeah, so, so I'm kicking my butt. <laughs> All we have to do is look at corn syrup, and you're already like, Oh no, corn syrup! <laughs> corn syrup, curse you! <laughs> this is a new Capri Sun logo, I think. Yeah, this is a new Capri Sun logo. It'd be funny to look at the old Capri Sun logos, because they got this crazy stuff going on right here. But, um... <laughs> I, uh... Oh my gosh, that that's pretty good too. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. They're um Yeah, we got Nintendo food now, guys. Nintendo food. <laughs> Dude, I need to get me some more good food like videos for you guys. I need to get more. Um What the heck was this? I couldn't even find if you guys want to know, I'm looking for the black one, by the way. If you've seen it, it's like super hydration. Oh my gosh, that one's fire, dude. I need that one. That one's good. That Dude, there's literally... I got to tell you a funny video, too, in all uh, debate and drama stuff, okay? There is a... Um, <sighs> there is a video of a guy that literally robbed a store for one of these. That's how good these things are. He literally took the store and robbed it. Also, I want to show you that I spent some money because every time you show somebody you spent money, it's always a good thing. Got some celery over here too. Since I know people like to see people eat, I'll eat, a, I'll eat some celery even though I ate all this, you know. Could always use some hydration. The, uh... I think there was even one more thing I wanted to add in here. Oh, yeah. I want to add the EGP angle. You know why I want to add the EGP angle? Because Chiseled Adonis, for some reason, his content's getting reviewed of this EGP guy. Now, I, I researched the update of it, okay, guys? I, re I actually put some research into this. I understand. Him having a TikTok and making money, ugh. UGP making money off of TikTok. But, um, at this point, the only way we can get it is by ignoring him. The more that you people put into him and the more you talk about him, 
the worse it's going to get. And there's literally like four different YouTube channels that talk about him. But the reason I'm talking about him, it's just an easy video for me, you know? It's just an easy video. Um, and I definitely, for no reason, I have to talk about him. You know why? Because being a Detroit Lions fan, being a Detroit Lions loyal, I got to deal with the enigma, the enigma of Jalen Hurts. <laughs> Jalen Hurts, oh my gosh, dude, that guy is very motivated. He's a fast quarterback. Uh, there's a chance that he's not too happy right now. And um, what I saw in Jalen Hurts is that he looks like, um, he looks a little like that son of a gun, <laughs> Vic. He looks like, he looks like Vic a little bit. So, I mean, he has... That's why I don't even like talk about EDP. I like to talk about mainly the things that, you know, you should be seeing, like the Philadelphia Eagles getting all their crap together. Now, hopefully it was just one good year last year, which that could be a thing too. Like they could have just had one good year and then we're like, oh. <laughs> but uh, as long as the Cowboys are in their division, I'm pretty sure it's going to be – the Eagles are still going to be a tough team. The – uh. Oh yeah, yeah. We could we could jam one more thing in, guys. You ready for one more thing? Here we go. Ian Report made me kind of laugh because Ian Report was talking about the the Jets, the Jets. Now in the Lions' schedule, surprisingly, even though the Lions don't play the Jets, guess who does play the Jets? The Kansas City Chiefs. So maybe maybe week one, I'm gonna have a good game. I'm gonna see the Lions beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Maybe. Um, because if I was the Kansas City Chiefs, why would I worry about the Lions when I could just, you know, go and beat a team that's missing their safety? The Jets are missing their safety. And the Jets do a common thing. They lose. <laughs> so, so I might be having a good week one. Who knows? Who knows?